hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create email template in odoo version 14 and in case you missed previous discussion about how to generate a dynamic pdf report using bootstrap classes please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit the weblens channel under the weblens channel you can visit the playlist under the playlist you can see odoo development label is there with different playlist so those are the different topics available with real task cases and uh, in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page under the about page you can see the email address you can send directly your query to this email and we also have a github repository link right you can also access those called we also we have a different types of social media pages make sure to follow to get the latest notification and in case you want to support this channel using many ways buy me coffee paypal or using this join button so let's back to our main topic like how to create email template in version 14 wait so before last week already launched odoo 16th version right so why we are try to understand this version 14 in especially in the email template so here the, there is a one thing like before 15 version in email template while you create any email template right so over there odoo uses jinja template engine to generate a dynamic data in email template right and after like uh, once the 14 version launch right 14 and 16 all having a qf template engine so it's replaced here so that's the reason we are trying to cover the jinja template engine right so it's also available in a lower version version 14 to the lower version here so that's the reason we are trying to cover that part also all right so don't confuse here and another thing is if you are trying to follow this uh, let's say github link right so i already separated version 14 and 15 soon 16 also available right so you don't need to use master so master having only 15 point zero version at the moment but i will remove this one and by default should be the latest version okay so don't confuse here also if you are working in 14 so you can pull the latest version of the 14.0 not the 15 one all right so yeah so that's the reason we are trying to using odoo version 14 and if you remember in our last discussion we already discussed how you can uh, run multiple different odoo versions in single machine so i already explained like how you can run version 15 and 14 both version in same system right so it's al already there if you don't know how to do please check also that uh, discussion so let's create a new module here which is sorry not this one so let me basically copy paste this one existing module wb email template so wb means weblands email template all right So dependencies should be this one let me remove this data file at the moment we are trying to rename this one views or let's say the data email template all right and this one should be registered here data slash email template all right so this email part is done now uh, let me open this one and i will try to remove all the code now uh, before this one let me introduce from the front end side 
let's say if you want to create a email template directly from the front end side without code you can visit the settings right in the technical you can see email here you can see templates so you can see there are 10 different uh, let's say email templates available for different models okay so let me open this one so basically this email template only for the user profile the user model and here we have to provide the specific name which is required it's any name right we have to also add here a specific model name then after you can see the content uh, all right so here in the content you can see the subject what is the email subject is there right how you can also add a dynamic data in the subject we will see in a later session after that you can see this beautiful code piece of code right here how you can also generate this one using the code if you press this key you can see here it will display all the html as well as the jinja code so what is jinja code you can see this one in the percentage sign those are the jinja code to generate a dynamic data all right so we are just trying to learn the basic things how you can implement looping if else statements and all how to print also data in the email template so that part we are just trying to understand basic things then after you can able to generate a dynamic email or you can also simple copy paste this one right and paste in your email template and it will work fine so this is the main thing you can you have to understand right after that you can see in a main email configuration from then after the two email right so how you can also add uh, those informations in the back end side right first thing is we are trying to create a simple record here right we are not trying to add any dynamic content like this at the moment first we are trying our goal is how to create email template in version 14 so for that like i have to use the record id model name like this after that you can see the model name is mail.template all right so we have to paste here then after i will try to add here the dynamic id xml id here let's say student so basically i'm trying to create email template for student profile only okay email template here I will add a free text like first email template for student profile. Here we have to provide model underscore ID. So for that we don't need a multiple instances. So here we are trying to use the ref attribute. If you don't know how to uh what how to use implement this ref why we need to use ref i already explained in the data creation using xml as well as csv file right i already explained like what is the purpose of eval ref and different types of attributes so you can find out that one so here uh, let me remove this one first thing is we have to copy this school.student and here i will try to find out that student profile name I'm sorry the model name and if it's having any dot you can just replace with the underscore all right and before that this model name we have to use prefix as a model underscore and then after the model name and this is our folder name where this model is available then after subject free let's say email subject so let's say if i will send from odoo right 
to your email address so subject so you can see in the email we have also subject and the content so this is the subject so if i will send you using this email template so you will receive subject as a email subject you can also add a dynamic data here but right now our goal is how to create the email template only all right after that we need also like to whom we have to send the send this email right so at the moment we are trying to add here like current user will receive this email at the moment okay so for that like i will use here partner underscore two after that like i will use here jinja code jinja template engine code okay so for that i will use here the object partner underscore sorry create underscore uid after partner underscore id dot id after that like we have a to and from right for the email so for that like uh, from which email it, it should be print uh, it should be email so for that like we can use here email from and here i am again using a jinja code don't worry i will explain later object dot so you can see we don't have any email address for this one right so now what i will do is i will use the email address from the score so you can see this email so object dot school underscore id dot email so from school email this partner will receive this email address okay field name and here i will use body html and here i will use one more uh, let's say the uh, the type should be the xml here right and i will try to add here the table let's say th name school and total fees uh, don't worry about this Jinja code I will explain let me verify the field name let's say total fees all right so this is the basic email template we created now i will try to restart the service I will go to the front end. I'm going to apps, update app list because we created a new one, the new module, right? And here I will try to simple add search this module name. You can see it's not installed. So let me click to install button. So without any error, it's already installed let me go to settings under the technical email and templates if you remember last time the record was 10 but now the new uh, one more email template also added right and here you can see email subject this one you can see like this right email subject 
the subject name is email subject then this is the name of this email template the model name is this one you can see here from school email and it will deliver to like create user all right so if i will click here you can see the dynamic data will display here in the body part so this is the body you have to focus only this one right so this name school and total fees are the static one we created a one table right if you remember here the html code you have to simple thing is you have to uh, use here the html code style also you can also add right so based on your expertise and based on the requirement you can also add here the css style sheet and all okay so you can see here we just use here the student name school name right and the total fees of the student so it will display here this is the student name this is the school name and this is the total fees if i will try to change the record it will also change here the dynamic data all right so this way you can create a dynamic email template using the uh, using the xml file like this now our next session should be how you can print the record uh, print the dynamic data using this jinja template right if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session